Will, you were as frustrated as I've seen you since you joined Seattle after the Columbus match. And here, what a switch in just a few days. Can you talk about what this road win against a perennial massive team like Toronto can do moving do for you moving forward? Yeah, it's, uh, it's great. You know, I think everybody kind of wrote us off before we even got here, um, you know, so we, we, we know what we're capable of as a group and I think we showed it tonight and, you know, the guys here put in a great effort. Everybody was playing for each other and everybody was playing and moving and, and you know, it resulted in some goals. So I think it's, it's positive going forward. Talk about the play. Magnus gets around a couple guys right on the touchline, yeah. feeds you with a beautiful ball. You take it from there, but start with Magnus moving forward. Yeah, I think he touched it around somebody, then Meg somebody, and I was just first, at first I was just watching, and then I was like, oh god, he got by them both. So then I just opened up, and he played a great ball in, and you know I was able to um, to get it and finish it off. Left footed. I know it's crazy, huh? Coach mentioned it. I wanted to mention also left foot, great finish, and then a bunch of defending, and then you had another. You had a sweet ball to Bawana. Talk about that build up. Yeah, I'm actually more proud of that one. Um, you know. Uh, you know, I was able to, you know, kind of just feel the game out and drop into space. And when I'm dropping in there, center backs don't know to step with me or um, or or or, um, or stay in the space because, you know, a nine's dropping in. It's almost like a false nine for a little bit. And then um, once I dropped in, they Bradley stepped out and I just, you know, kind of waited. Saw Buana make start making the run. Just wanted to put it in in there so he could have a one touch finish. And what was your thoughts of his one touch finish? You know, it was great. I, I thought I heard him call Megs, but you know, I'll have to ask him. Please do. You've been around long enough with this squad. You know what Sunday means, 100th match between Seattle and Portland. But, you know, just a springboard. This is a road game. Whether you think uh, people were counting you out or not, road win in Toronto, now to, now to Sunday in, in Portland. Your thoughts about how this pushes you forward? Yeah, we knew this was going to be a very tough week. And, um, you know, with Columbus, it didn't start on the way we wanted it. But, you know, I think this result fixes that because, um, you know, that's, that's four points in two games. and. You know, we got a harder game on, on Sunday. You know, rivalry games, anything can happen, especially on the road. So, um, you know, we're going to enjoy this one the rest of the night. And then, you know, it's back to business tomorrow. And it doesn't get any easier for us. So we're going to have to prep for that and, you know, get a game plan. Each game's different. We'll have a different game plan for that and see what, what coach wants to do and, and go forward. Christian said it felt like you were defending for 90 minutes. So I get to ask you, how are you feeling? I know you didn't go 90, but you were pretty close. How are you feeling? Um, I'll be fine. Um, you know, it's, I feel much better after a win than than after after a loss. So, you know, we'll regroup. I'll get in the ice ice bath, and I'll be fine.